Why does it seem like a majority of people want to see others hurt or fail? Because no one will ever do or say anything to you that isn't a direct reflection of how they feel about themselves in a moment. They project what's inside. And you'll notice this as you become more successful in life. And I talk about this in Mastering Yourself. What happens, you find out who your real friends are because the people that are around you, even these may even be family members, your close friends. It's like they want to see you do well just as long as you don't do better than them. And so when you start doing better than somebody, it's like you're kind of like a big mirror to them of their shortcomings or how they're not leveling up or stepping up in their own lives. And so by attacking you and making you question yourself, hopefully they can knock you back down a few notches to, so you stay at their level. Then that way it validates their model of the world, how they view themselves, how they operate in life, and it enables them to stay where they're at. That's why anybody that's become successful in life, you end up leaving a, typically a bunch of people behind just because they all become negative Nancys and they never have a good word for you. Oh, that was, I, that's a, if you're going through a rough patch, I told you that was a stupid idea and you shouldn't have done it. And then 10 years later, you're doing well. Oh, I always knew you'd make it. You know, hey, let's hang out and go to lunch. Can I come to the club with you? Can I go with a golf club with you, the country club, the yacht club? They all want to hang out. I think Oprah had this saying. She said, um, everybody wants to ride in your limo when you're successful, but a true friend will take the bus with you when your limo is broken down actually funny because I was mentioning to Jocelyn yesterday about my cousin you know how like way back when when I brought it up that she just ghosted me and stopped, stopped talking to me out of nowhere um, and I had no idea because we were best friends like this and I literally just found out about like four days ago through my mom like the real reason why she stopped talking to me and the reason is like to me it's ridiculous like I'm like offended because I thought we were closer than that but there like, you yeah, you guys are family too. How can you just be jealous or not even jealous? I don't even know what the issue is. Like, yeah. why would you just feel that way about family? Mm -hmm. And long story short, it the reason behind it is because apparently like she grew out of a mindset and the way she views my life is like, she doesn't like it, you know, because she sees me as like, like I like fancy bougie things right like I like to live nicely I like to have like nice things like car I like to go to nice restaurants or bars in a way high maintenance but like when I live that life I feel like it gets me to better places right and to her she sees it as like oh no I would like invest my money in something else like I wouldn't be spending my money on this blah 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 whatever and there's been situations where I would offer to pay for her because, you know, she doesn't make that much. And as an older cousin, I see her as like my baby sister type of thing. So like for my birthday, I offered to pay, you know, 45 bucks for a bus party. And I was like, hey, don't worry about it. Like, I just want you there to be my friend and like to be there. You were there last year. And apparently she the way she felt about that was like, like I was belittling her. Like I made her feel like she couldn't afford to like hang out with me and stuff like that. Like she felt like, why are you offering to pay? You know, like I can, if I wanted to, I would, you know. Because you guys are family. Yeah. And I'm just like, the fact that you see it that way in such a negative like perspective, instead of me seeing me as like, oh, she cares about me. She wants to help me. Like she just, you know, and it's just like, it's ridiculous to me. Like. I work for what I have, not to show it off, not to brag or seem like uptight or like, you know, like I don't know the word, but it's just like I find found that out. And I was just like, wow, like I never thought she would see me as that kind of person. Unfortunately, family, it, a lot of times it comes from family before it becomes from outsiders of like being jealous or um, just like uh not accepting the way someone lives and it's because they're not doing what you're doing to better themselves so they mm -hmm. can become you know and the craziest part is that she hangs out with my other cousin I think I told you guys that her boyfriend scams people's things I'm not going to be specific with it and 
they basically live off of making money from other people's, you know, situations. And my cousins so always drifting runs in the family. Is that what you're telling us? <laughs> and my cousin hangs out with her all the time. Like they're like best friends. So I'm just like, you're okay with her lifestyle of her ruining other people's That's lives. That's a bad influence. But you're not okay with me who actually works to have what I have. So it's just like. What do Haters don't really hate you. They hate themselves and they want to be you. You're yeah. a reflection of what they could be and should be, but they're too lazy and they're not level enough. That's why. If they can attack you and belittle you and make you feel as awful as they do, then they don't feel so bad about their shitty lives. Yeah. That's just a fact. I just found that question, like your question, I think it was, mm -hmm. um, just interesting because it really showed like even your own family could be that kind of hater person or whatever yeah but even then it's just really terrible how like just people in general they think hurting other people would make them feel better about themselves but i think it makes it even worse than how they're feeling currently mm -hmm. so. i mean i definitely can understand that situation and it's i mean i feel for you because it's not a good feeling to have um when other family members are condescending like towards you um and they make you feel like you're like degrading them on that level but you're honestly just trying to uplift them and bring them to a better place and show them that there's like better opportunities and other outlets um yeah and yeah. the other options that they are being shown mm -hmm. um so I really do I feel for you because every family has their issues and it doesn't really matter, like, what they are, but it will come in waves. So just, like, let it ride. Yeah. Like, I'm still, like, like, I still love her as a person, you know, yeah. like, and from there. a distance. Um, be there. Yeah. Because she'll come around. Because even, like, a long time ago, remember, like, I was asking you if you needed workers. Like, I offered my cousin because she's... Oh, like, was that the one? Yeah. And it's just, like... Even if yeah, I, I remember see, you never brought her up again. I figured she wasn't interested. Yeah, I asked her. I was like, "Hey, look, like I'm making good money here. It's fine. Like if you like this kind of stuff. Um, I mean, you could just try it out. Meet him." And she's like, "No, I'm good." It's like I offer, like you know, like she didn't even consider some people it. Feel safer and more comfortable doing what they're doing now than most people major else. in minor things That's or why. not even doing anything at all. Yeah, they feel more comfortable in the uncomfortable and not feeling safe. Yeah. It's being the creature of the habit. And how is she going to know how everything's going to be like if she doesn't even try or consider it? Yeah, you got to step outside your comfort zone. Yeah, that's the only time you grow.